Have you ever stared up at the night sky and wondered, are we really alone? Prepare to have your mind blown then. We're going to explore the most astounding evidence available today that implies aliens may be living very next to us in space. All set? Now let's get started. Fermi Paradox Rooted in Enrico Fermi's 1950 musings, questions the absence of alien contact despite ample cosmic opportunities. With a 4.5 billion-year-old solar system in a 13.8 billion-year-old universe, the ease of interstellar travel suggests Earth should have hosted extraterrestrial visitors. Fermi theorized that a civilization equipped with rocket technology and an imperial drive could colonize the galaxy within tens of millions of years, a short span relative to the galaxy's age. Michael Hart and Frank Tipler extended Fermi's ideas, suggesting various reasons for the absence of extraterrestrials, including physical challenges, deliberate avoidance, recent alien civilization emergence, or unnoticed past visits. Tipler's 1980 paper argued that the lack of self-replicating AI evidence hinted at humanity's uniqueness. Today, ongoing research and the exoplanet revolution fuel discussions about potential extraterrestrial intelligence. Radio signals in SETI. With the European Low Frequency Array, LOFAR, new frontiers in the hunt for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, are being broken down as megahertz radio frequencies are being explored for the first time. Traditional SETI efforts focused on gigahertz ranges, avoiding lower frequencies due to atmospheric interference. LOFAR, spanning Europe with stations in the Netherlands, France, Germany, Ireland, Latvia, Poland, Sweden, and the UK, employs low and high band antennas to delve into uncharted radio realms. Teaming up with the Breakthrough Listen project, LOFAR's Ireland and Sweden stations scanned 1.6 million star systems for signals between 110 and 190 megahertz, avoiding false positives by using multiple sites. Although no definitive alien signals were found, ongoing improvements in LOFAR's sensitivity promise an extended low-frequency SETI range of 15 to 240 megahertz after upcoming upgrades. Roswell Incident in a pivotal chapter of UFO history, the U.S. took center stage in 1947 with the infamous Roswell Incident. Picture this. An Army Air Force jet crashes in Roswell, New Mexico, initially labeled a flying disc. The wreckage, first dismissed as a weather vane, sparked a swarm of conspiracy theories. Air Force Lieutenant Jesse Marcel, who later spilled the beans, spun a yarn about a weather balloon cover-up, insisting the debris was earthly. Despite no concrete proof, Die-hard UFO enthusiasts argue it was an alien encounter, pointing fingers at government secrecy. The incident birthed wild tales of extraterrestrial beings, alien autopsies, and reverse engineering of alien tech. While lacking in hard evidence, the Roswell saga lives on, becoming a staple in science fiction and drawing curious UFO tourists to Roswell. Drake Equation Devised by Frank Drake in 1961, it serves as a probabilistic tool for estimating the presence of active, communicative extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy. Originally designed to spark discussion at the inaugural scientific meeting on the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, the equation addresses factors crucial for contemplating radio communicative life. Although regarded as an approximation rather than an exact calculation, the equation incorporates elements like star formation rates, planet harboring stars, potentially habitable planets, life development likelihood, intelligent civilization emergence, technological signal transmission, and the duration of detectable signals. Criticism surrounds the speculative nature of some factors, leading to uncertain outcomes. Coconi and Morrison's 1959 article on interstellar communications and Drake's subsequent project Ozma kickstarted systematic SETI searches. The equation remains a foundational aspect of astrobiology discussions, reflecting humanity's quest to decipher the cosmos for signs of extraterrestrial existence. Abduction Accounts Reported by individuals known as abductees or experiencers describe encounters with non-human entities, often interpreted as extraterrestrial beings. The phenomenon involves temporary removal from familiar surroundings and forced medical examinations, primarily focusing on reproductive systems. 
widely publicized since the Betty and Barney Hill abduction in 1961, these claims attract scrutiny regarding credibility and mental health. Mainstream academics and skeptics doubt literal occurrences, proposing alternative explanations like sleep paralysis or modern folk myths. Abductees exhibit psychological traits, including mildly paranoid thinking and nightmares. Some researchers note alleged abductees' higher incidence of paranormal events and abilities post-abduction. Age demographics suggest the experience is more prevalent among the young. Child abductees report similar details to adults, often with family involvement in the military or near-military bases. Proponents argue children's sincerity, lack of doubt, and unique reactions differentiate their experiences from adult claimants. The phenomenon remains a complex and debated aspect of the UFO narrative. Fast radio bursts. NASA, using the Hubble Space Telescope, has unveiled the origins of mysterious fast radio bursts, FRBs, intense signals reaching Earth in a thousandth of a second, with energy surpassing the sun's annual output. While not alien in origin, the study successfully traced five recent FRBs to their host galaxies. The locations, predominantly in spiral arms where stars form, shed light on the cosmic events triggering these powerful bursts. The galaxies, mostly massive and actively forming stars, exhibit varying arm structures, ruling out the youngest, most massive stars as FRB sources. The findings eliminate explosive star deaths or neutron star mergers as causes, providing astronomers with crucial context as they explore the enigma of fast radio bursts. Panspermia Hypothesis Growing support for the panspermia hypothesis challenges the notion that life originated on Earth, suggesting it may have arrived from outer space on comets or meteorites. Astrobiologists find compelling evidence proposing that life, potentially initiated on Mars, reached Earth 3.8 to 4 billion years ago through celestial bodies. Recent findings reveal organic molecules and water on comets, indicating extraterrestrial sources for life's essential building blocks. Panspermia, proposed in 1871, gains fresh backing amid astronomical discoveries of abundant organic compounds in the universe. This theory suggests life could spread through space, hitchhiking on space debris, while directed panspermia contemplates intentional transport by intelligent civilizations. Though lacking conclusive proof, the idea challenges traditional beliefs, prompting scientists to reconsider the origins of life on Earth and its potential existence throughout the Milky Way. Microbial Fossils In a groundbreaking case study, scientists led by David McKay at NASA's Johnson Space Flight Center discovered potential fossilized microbes in a Martian meteorite. This meteorite, ALH84001, traveled from Mars to Earth about 13,000 years ago, originating from an impact on Mars 16 million years ago. The team found carbonate globules with organic compounds, magnetite, and iron sulfide, suggesting ancient microbial life. The evidence, while initially controversial, raised questions about Martian origins. Geochemical debates ensued, challenging temperature-related claims, weakening organic carbon evidence, but strengthening the case for biogenic magnetite. Skepticism arose regarding worm-like formations resembling bacteria due to size constraints. Despite controversies, the study stimulated renewed efforts in Martian life exploration, with ongoing research and planned Mars sample return missions. Recent observations hint at potential liquid water on Mars, reigniting hopes for extant Martian life. Project Blue Book The United States Air Force conducted a systematic study of unidentified flying objects from March 1952 to December 1969. Directed by Captain Edward J. Ruppelt, it operated from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio. The project sought to assess UFO threats to national security and scientifically analyze related data. Despite collecting 12,618 UFO reports, it concluded that most were misidentifications, attributing some to classified reconnaissance flights. Project Blue Book's termination in 1969 followed the Condon Report, which doubted significant scientific discoveries from UFO studies. While the Air Force asserted no extraterrestrial evidence, 701 cases remained unexplained. Historical precursors, Project Sign and Project Grudge influenced Blue Book's evolution. Captain Ruppelt's tenure emphasized streamlined reporting and statistical analysis and minimized open-ended speculation, fostering a serious investigative approach. Astronomer J. Allen Hynek's role as the scientific consultant added credibility to the project. Despite skepticism, Blue Book's legacy fuels ongoing debates about UFOs and potential extraterrestrial encounters.
alien megastructures. A Dyson Sphere is a speculative megastructure that envelops a star, capturing a significant portion of its solar power output. Originating from the imagination of Olaf Stapledon in 1937 and formalized by physicist Freeman Dyson in 1960, it represents a conceptual solution for a spacefaring civilization meeting energy, needs surpassing planetary resources. Dyson speculated on the necessity of such structures for a civilization's long-term survival and suggested their detection could serve as a sign of extraterrestrial life. Various designs and fictionally portrayed solid shells have been proposed, although Dyson envisioned a loose collection or biosphere of objects orbiting the star. While the Dyson sphere remains beyond current engineering capabilities, its exploration has prompted scientific searches for potential megastructures around distant stars. Transit Anomalies In the quest for extraterrestrial life, astronomers encounter various astronomical anomalies, unexpected shapes, unexplainable photometry, or unprecedented spectra challenging contemporary knowledge. These anomalies, after rigorous assessment, may reveal new celestial objects or phenomena. Validated cases include quasars, pulsars, and periodic Doppler shifts from orbiting planets. However, mysteries persist, such as fast radio bursts, dark energy, Oumuamua as an alien spaceship, and vanishing stars. Anomalies may signal advanced technological life, demanding meticulous, multi-perspective observations. Historical anomalies like quasars highlight shifts in understanding. Unresolved cases, like Halton Arp's redshift discrepant galaxies, showcase challenges to established models. In today's context, anomalies in astronomical research, particularly those related to the search for extraterrestrial life, captivate scientists and the public alike, prompting rigorous investigation into potential signs of intelligent alien civilizations. Betty and Barney Hill Abduction Barney and Betty Hill's alleged extraterrestrial abduction in New Hampshire in 1961 provides compelling evidence of alien existence. During their journey, the interracial couple observed a UFO exhibiting erratic behavior. Betty, through binoculars, saw an odd-shaped craft with multicolored lights, while Barney initially thought it was a plane, but later changed his mind as it descended rapidly. The silent, illuminated object hovered above their car, resembling a huge pancake. Barney, armed, approached and saw humanoid figures inside, wearing glossy black uniforms. Red lights extended from batwing fins, and a long structure descended. The craft approached within 50 to 80 feet, with Barney reporting the beings as somehow not human. This incident, known as the Hill Abduction, remains a prominent case in the quest for proof of extraterrestrial life. Rendlesham Forest Incident The Rendlesham Forest Incident, a UFO event near RAF Woodbridge, Suffolk, England, in December 1980, is a powerful testament to the existence of extraterrestrial phenomena. USAF personnel, including Lieutenant Colonel Charles Halt, witnessed unexplained lights and a metallic, glowing object in the forest. Sergeant Jim Penniston reported encountering a craft of unknown origin. Despite skeptics attributing some sightings to natural debris or the Orford Nest Lighthouse, the incident involved compelling events. Servicemen observed lights descending into the forest, causing nearby animals to frenzy. Subsequent investigations revealed impressions, burn marks, and broken branches. Lieutenant Colonel Halt recorded elevated radiation readings, and star-like lights were observed in the sky. The Rendlesham Forest Incident, often dubbed Britain's Roswell, stands as one of the world's most renowned UFO events, supporting the quest for proof of alien existence. Sergeant Jim Penniston Encountering a Craft of Unknown Origin Despite skeptics attributing some sightings to natural debris or the Orford, the incident involved compelling events. Servicemen observed lights descending into the forest, causing to frenzy. Subsequent investigations revealed impressions, burn marks, and broken branches. Lieutenant Colonel Halt recorded elevated radio readings, and star-like lights were observed in the sky. The Rendlesham Forest Incident, often dubbed Britain's, stands as one of the world's most renowned UFO events, supporting the quest for proof of alien existence. Phoenix Lights Witnessed on March 13, 1997, stands as compelling evidence supporting the existence of extraterrestrial phenomena. Thousands reported sightings of unidentified flying objects over miles. Witnesses described varying lights, including a carpenter's square-shaped UFO with spherical lights. 
Actor Kurt Russell reported the lights to air traffic. Despite explanations attributing the events to Operation Snowbird and military flares, the sightings involved distinct incidents. Governor Fife Symington, who initially joked about the incident, later revealed a personal close encounter with an alien, emphasizing the mystery. Photographs and videos captured the lights, and comparisons with known military flare drops supported the extraterrestrial nature of the Phoenix Lights. Lee witnessed an enduring UFO event. Aerial School U Encounter Encounter on September 16, 1994, near Ruwa, Zimbabwe, stands as compelling evidence affirming the existence of extraterrestrial phenomena. Tic Tac UFO 62 pupils, aged 6 to 12, The Tic Tac UFO incident of 2004, as recounted by retired Navy CMD Dr. David Fravor, provides compelling evidence supporting the existence of terrestrial phenomena. Fravor, a Top Gun Naval Flight School graduate, witnessed a Tic Tac-looking object off the Southern California coast during the object detected by advanced radar on the USS Princeton exhibited extraordinary capabilities, descending rapidly and mirroring Fravor's aircraft movements. Despite attempts to intercept, the object, devoid of markings, wings, or exhaust plumes, accelerated beyond the limits. Fravor testified before the House Oversight Committee, emphasizing the incident's implications surpassed current and foreseeable abilities. The testimonies of other military personnel further contribute to the mounting evidence of unexplained aerial phenomena, challenging conventional standing. Voronezh UFO Incident the Voronezh UFO incident in the Soviet Union, dated September 27, 1989, presents intriguing evidence supporting the existence of extraterrestrial encounters. TASS reports described a group of children witnessing a pink glow in the sky, followed by a three-meter red ball with a three-eyed alien and a robot emerging. The alien allegedly used a ray gun, causing a teenager to leave. Lieutenant Sergei A. Matveyev of the Voronezh police claimed to witness a flying body, and subsequent testimonies fueled widespread reports. The Soviet Scientific Commission investigated, with skeptics attributing scorched ground to this. Despite challenges to the authenticity, the incident remains a notable example in the context of government openness, stirring debates on It stands as compelling evidence affirming the existence of extraterrestrial encounters involving four men, Jack Weiner, Jim Weiner, Chuck Rake. Their terrifying experience unfolded during a camping trip in Maine's wilderness in Nikes. A mysterious light witnessed in the sky led to a close encounter, triggering reoccurring nices. Under hypnosis, the men independently revealed consistent details of being abducted, subjected to medical examinations, and enduring traumatic experiences. The four underwent polygraph tests, all passing, enhancing the crimes. Skeptics attribute such stories to media influence, but the Allagash abductions remain a compelling case, revealing shared, distressing memories of encounters with extraterrestrial. Belgium UFO Wave In November 1989, a noteworthy incident unfolded, offering substantial evidence supporting the existence of extraterrestrials. Witnesses reported a large, low-flying, flat, triangular craft neath it. The pinnacle occurred on the night of March 30 to 31, 1990, when radar tracked object. Belgian Air Force F-16S investigated, with reports from 143 witnesses some weeks later. The ensuing month were claimants. Two F-16S attempted interceptions, but only radar locks Gendarmerie reported lights forming a square and erratic movements. A hoax photo circulated, later debunked. The hoax creator, Patrick Marichal, revealed the deception in 2011, highlighting skepticism around the Belgian UFO waves evidence. Westall UFO Encounter In Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, the Westall UFO Encounter on April 6, 1966, stands as compelling evidence supporting the existence of extraterrestrial phenomena. Witnesses, including students and a teacher from Westall High School, observed a saucer-shaped craft with a gray or silvery-gray appearance. The object descended, flew over the school, and disappeared behind trees, later reappearing and swiftly departing towards the northwest. 
Some witnesses claimed it was pursued by five unidentified aircraft. Official explanations, such as a weather balloon or a runaway balloon from the Highball Project, were suggested but faced skepticism. Media coverage and a witness reunion in 2006 highlighted the enduring mystery. The city of Kingston even dedicated Grange Reserve UFO Park to commemorate the incident, featuring a silver UFO structure with red slides, immortalizing the 1966 Westall UFO encounter. The abundance of compelling sightings, credible testimonies, and unexplained phenomena leaves us questioning the vast possibilities. While the mystery continues, let's keep our minds open. Who knows what future discoveries may unveil? Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, stay curious and keep searching for the truth in the cosmos.